There are good movies, there are bad movies, and then there are movies that are just so bizarre in the choices they've made that you can't help but wonder, who approved this? Hello, and welcome to episode one of what hopefully, if we can take it, is going to be a long-running series in which we try to find the worst and the weirdest films on Netflix. And boy, John, do we have a weird one today. Mm-hmm. Real, uh, special, special child. Quackers, we saw the description on Netflix while we were just flipping through one day, and we thought, what? A movie about a witch that wants to destroy the sun, but if she wants to do it, she has to fight ducks? Mm-hmm. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the only time that I've ever taken notes during a movie. Yeah. And, um... Huh. The first note that I wrote down... Yes. ...was, uh, you know, this film takes place in China. China is oh, where... Oh, it does! It does. China! The first note I wrote down is Russian duck. There's a, there's a duck that, there, there you did, you wrote it down mm -hmm. too. There were some British ducks mixed in yeah. there. Yeah, uh-huh. It was uh, sort of a strange yeah. collection. You know, I'm glad that those ducks were inclusive and yes, they absolutely. a very diverse uh, group of ducklings. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. But that, that did sort of jump out at me immediately. <laughs> yeah, of what is going on. Mm -hmm. Like, if some of the kids have different accents, and you never explain it, I can make up something like, all right, well, maybe they were adopted, or, or maybe, I don't know, these are some rich ducks and they had a nanny. Who knows? Um, but when the emperor has a British accent, and when the emperor's right hand, who gives him advice, also has that accent, it starts to make me question some things. I didn't know this when we were watching it, but I yeah. looked up when I was grabbing some of the images and the video that you'll see. Mm. Uh, this is a Russian animation company, okay. so it could have just been that was the talent they had available. Sure, right. But it's still, why wouldn't you just <clears throat> set it in, I don't know, Russia <laughs> instead of China? China! Although I, well, I gotta be honest, um, in that scene where we, I think it's the scene where we meet the Russian, mm -hmm. there's just him doing target practice with a bow and arrow at a target, except his arrow is a plunger. And it's just, we get introduced by seeing him there missing, even though he's like eight feet away. And I, that worked for me. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I got some points there. Yeah. And him just being like, oh. And then he started talking, I was like, Oh, but why? It's also, I don't know what time period this is supposed to take place. I don't know. Because a lot of the humans and stuff it seems like very, um, very early uh, time period. Mm -hmm. But then um, America shows up and America is like not quite, not modern day military, no. but they're like, they're much more. Well, yeah, they're at least World War II. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that, that brings up some questions. Mm hmm. Well, the first thing that we see is a scene that is towards the end. Mm -hmm. It's different when we see it again towards the end. It There's, is. Uh, some yeah, different they things do. that they have conveniently <laughs> yeah. added. Mm -hmm. But uh, long way, the duck and then the military general yeah. are stuck in this cage and they're trying to get out. And then long way's like, "Oops, I played a video game that was just like this." And then we flash forward to the beginning of the movie, yeah. where he's playing a video game that's not really anything like the situation he's gonna be in later. No, he like lives in China with his dad, and um, his dad's super annoying um, right hand man. You did not like that right yeah. hand man. Right I man. hated this character so much. <laughs> you wanted him to die. So yeah, bad. His, but uh, <laughs> they're living there, and they're like, there's some. Thing where the emperor thinks that he is the one that's like bringing the sun up and putting it away every right uh, yeah. morning and night, mm -hmm. and I guess you know Longway is supposed to inherit that, but Longway can't know what he really is, um, and neither can the audience because it's not really explained. No. He's just like a a duck that like has the powers of the sun, yeah, but uh -huh. like not entirely no 
And yeah. what and what are what would that mean? Right. And if the father does, why doesn't he do different things if he has? Yeah. It's also, it's who confusing. is the secret? Like, who benefits from this being a secret? Yeah. It. Uh, yeah. It's so like his son's life is at risk if it happens, but everybody else dies if he doesn't. Become the son duck or whatever. Yeah, but I understand that I get it like it's your son You want to protect him, but we don't seem to give a very there's not a lot of conflict there And there should be there should be mm -hmm. more people being like mm. yeah You're kind of taking one duck and putting him above the entire planet. We've talked about some characters that I don't like <clears throat> Let's talk about my favorite character oh. the hypersexualized villain <laughs> The one who had a bad bitch entrance <laughs> <laughs> Yeah um, I don't remember this character's name. Um, I think it was uh, the woman of my dreams. Oh, but she rides in on this train <laughs> that just wrecks the whole city. Well, there's this <laughs> intense like gu guitar solo yeah. going. Mm -hmm. um, and then she climbs off the train, and we get <laughs> a look. It's <laughs> uh, up until this that's, point, that's, totally PG. Oh yeah. Yeah, then we bump it up to like a, a some sexuality, uh, <laughs> some sexual content in the oh. whole MPAA man uh, disclaimer because she or those man that ass is not quitting anytime <laughs> soon. Some careful animation <laughs> went into place. They had a for, separate uh, budget for uh, her boobs to move up and down with every single movement. Everything. She makes everything. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I like I don't know. It, maybe they were being faithful to physics, but they certainly were were not applying that same level of detail to any of the other characters. I mean, no. We have characters that you know are carrying gear, that are overweight, that have all this other, you know, all this other stuff that should be moving as well. But mm -hmm. no, no, we've done the like animation her. budget on her. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and she gets off the train with like a whip or something. Yeah, and mm -hmm. she's looking. For for a house? Yeah, she's looking for a house. And and like normally they would tell her no one should go there and it's dangerous or haunted or whatever, but yeah, like, they could like me. Yeah. They're like <laughs> she's not taking no for an answer. Mm, I don't want to give it to her. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, this is when a police officer falls in love with her. Yeah, that's one of my questions. Oh of good. All the people that falls in love with the obvious villain. Mm -hmm. Why is it the most goody two shoes? Boy Scout character that we've seen in the whole movie, and not even like I'm kind of bad girls, and I'm struggling with that. No, just like straight from zero to six, that he just falls head over heels. I just out of all the people to pick, it, we've all been there. I don't know. The heart <sighs> wants what the heart wants, John. We call it the heart. But then she also recruits these two guys to um, find a duck for her. Yes. Bring me this duck, and I will make you rich beyond your dreams. Fail me! And you'll wish you were never born. <laughs> the skinny guy, he also has some strange animation going on. He does. He is very, like, Betty Spaghetti, sort of, like, ever, no bones in his body. Mm -hmm. He's just sort of yeah, wiggling around. Mm -hmm. He also has this thing in his ear. And it is never explained what it is. No. But he wedges it so deep in there every time. And it's like an earmuff or something. But he, because he, every time he pulls it out, it's to hear better. Right. But then, Why is it in there? But then, what is it? The next scene, it's back in there again. Yeah. And then a few scenes later, he'll be like, wait a second. Mm -hmm. And pull it out. Never explain it. No. Yeah. Like the second or third time it happened, we were like, there's no way. Mm -hmm. There's no way they're gonna do it this many times and not explain it. Once, maybe, sure. Because then we'll just assume it was an earplug that has to be, who knows. You can't do this three times and have people not notice that this is completely unexplained. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was just, just something he did. My second favorite scene after mm -hmm. um, the witch arrives to yeah. town yeah. is the scene where um, the American ducks show up in China. Yeah. Uh -huh. For several reasons. Huh. Yeah, the ducks arrive there because they think it's Hawaii. Right. That's not one of the reasons that I like the scene. That's just setting the stage. <laughs> yeah. So they think that they're getting to Hawaii, 
but actually it's uh, China. Mm -hmm. And the musical selection for this scene is what really sells it because uh, yeah. there's only one song that I can think of that screams American military. And that's Who Let the Dogs Out by the Baja Men. Because that's <laughs> yeah. the song they play as the Mallards arrive in China. Yeah. And it's so unexpected. <laughs> as with most <laughs> of the songs they picked for this mm -hmm. film. But yeah, that one in particular was like, what? Yeah. And then the rest of their theme is supposed to be military. Like, they try mm -hmm. to show how hard these guys are now like, you yeah. can't yeah. it's too late yeah you, you ruined it you can't have that be their intro and then try to instill some sort of uh presence from them that's intimidating you can't do that yeah so go the, with me now mm -hmm. the theme. yes they played uh that song go with me now twice mm -hmm. for the same amount of time same it exact. starts and ends the exact same way that's how much they paid for mm -hmm. it. right right there, there. The, the mallards are led by uh, a general uh so you know he's gonna clash with the emperor uh, yeah apparently he also has a right hand man mm -hmm. um who's also pretty annoying and then instead of a son though john this guy has a daughter. Ooh, man. And they're, she's like the same age as the Emperor's son, so I wonder if the two of them will bond and yeah. perhaps have a love story. I don't know. But uh, the the General's like one of the worst fathers <laughs> in, uh, yeah. in animated history. Mm -hmm. uh, for the sole reason that he can't tell his own daughter apart from one of his soldiers. And super the, swollen. Like. Yeah. I mean, his daughter, is, so he, all the soldiers are wearing masks, and he's like, oh, whatever his assistant's name is. Mm -hmm. I told you to give Erica the pink mask so I could tell her apart. Mm -hmm. For starters, Erica's not even in the scene. Nope. But um, Erica is also half the height of all the soldiers, mm -hmm. and uh, all of them are about, you know, three times mm -hmm. her size. Barrel chested. Mm -hmm. And they have different color feathers. <laughs> How can you not tell <laughs> Erica apart <laughs> from the soldiers? It makes you wonder how many of his first lieutenants he tucked into bed at night by mm -hmm. accident. Gave them like a kiss on the forehead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, one of my favorite quotes from this movie when they decided to get real <laughs> was, yeah. Do you really love me, Dad? Or do you only love your military career? <laughs> Uh, oh man, that's yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> My favorite one, I don't even remember who said it, but I wrote it down because it was so funny. Yeah. And it, it must have been the witch. They, uh, oh, contextually, sure. it's the only <laughs> one that makes sense. But there's some character somewhere that went quack quack, you're dead. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, who oh, man. was that? Oh um, man, it was fantastic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, and that sort of applies to the skinny guy, the, the two thieves combo. Yeah. But the main star does a lot of random and completely unnecessary parkour mm -hmm. throughout the film. Yeah, he which does. Is, it's, not, it's not like all of them do it, and it's sort of this is how we get around this island that isn't an island. No, no it's just him. He'll, there'll be like a couple stairs and then a plateau he's getting to, but he's going to go around the wall somehow and do a couple flips to get there, and not well. He's not good at parkour. No. Um, it is sort of like Michael, Dwight, and Andy doing parkour. It does, yeah. Parkour! Michael. Parkour! Parkour! Extreme! Parkour! 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 parkour. parkour. Can you that? Was it extra animation? We just told me the half? Because I feel like all of that was used on the boobs. Yeah, the boobs and the butt really the butt. took yeah. a lot of animation. Mm -hmm. uh, even when the police officer goes to that lady's house and yeah. then he does his like beatboxing dance number for what her the to hell impress her. That was. Um, Check this out. Yeah, yeah. Um, his animation is is not good. No, nope. <laughs> it's not no. fluid. It's so uh, strange. And then her slow walk down the stairs is. Biofidelic, biofidelically 
perfect. I mean, as she walks down the stairs, it's like each hip is gonna hit the, the like banister on the way <laughs> yeah. down. Like, the that's sweat. how much. Yeah, her ellipse is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like if she doesn't see a chiropractor soon, is a pendulum swing. <laughs> like, <laughs> your grandfather clock. <laughs> That's what I want a girl, man. <laughs> I don't want no Hawaiian sway. I want a grandfather clock. There's also uh, the, the skinny guy, especially. Mm -hmm. We'll throw out some weird slang for the time period mm -hmm. and um, the country. Yeah. Because uh -huh. he'll, you know, he'll be like, yo. He'll say yeah. yo. He'll say wicked. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's a moment where he puts um, an L on his forehead. Um, for the word jerk. Yeah, that's when, if it's a Russian production company, I'm like, okay. Yeah, someone like, got lost in translation. <laughs> that moment's like, oh. <laughs> the only way to look dumb or doing that is to <laughs> not even match the letter. Yeah. I will say, though, that for the most part, I was, like, consistently entertained yeah, by this movie. Yeah, so was I. Like, uh, there's only one scene where I was, like, bored. Mm. Um, and where they kind of lost me. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. trust me, I was oh, with it. Yeah, you were invested. I was deeply <laughs> invested in this adventure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But about 40 minutes in, because I checked it, I was like, let's clock this. Yeah. Um, there's a scene where uh, Longway and uh, Erica, the two lovebird ducks, the two lovebirds, yeah, if you will. Let's go past it, please. But she's teaching them how to fly, because none of the Chinese ducks know how to fly. Man, Ooh. I didn't realize. Jerk. But there's a moment where they blow. Uh, they're like blowing bubbles, um, and there's this one bubble that floats through the sky. Yeah. But then, from miles and miles away, the two criminals see a bubble floating through the sky. Mm-hmm. They're like, "Whoa! We better go check this out." Mm-hmm. That that Thanks. whole moment was where I was like. I don't know if I buy into this anymore. <laughs> Wait a second. It's, uh, woo okay. Seems implausible to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Hiccups like those were thorough, like thoroughly throughout the story. Thoroughly throughout. Thoroughly was, uh, throughout yeah, the thoroughfare. Agree, yeah. Um, they, yeah. It was pretty consistent. I also was mostly entertained because there were so many what the fuck moments. Um, that you, you kind of can't reach it. Like, you had so many like, oh, what? That happened so much. Obviously, the issue was how many of them were intentional. We'll never know. Sure. But uh, there were a lot of ones that I don't think were supposed to be uh, in the uh, WTF category. And yet, they were. Um, it was still funny. I, I think we both got a kick out of just how hard they went into making that witch sexual. Yeah, who was it, that for? Was that for the dads watching with their children? Yeah, good point. Sure. And it just really so that the dads movie. could get aroused while they watch the movie <laughs> with their children? <laughs> their little kids. Yeah, the son's power makes her boobs bigger. Mm -hmm. Like, not just like younger, but made them bigger. Yeah. I enjoyed that little um, liberty they took there. Mm -hmm. And when, like, the curse... Or like when she was losing her power mm -hmm. and um, she would get old um, and like her nose would get bigger for some reason yeah. mm -hmm. and the, uh, her jowls would come out a little bit mm -hmm. and then uh, her boobs would like drop like like a considerable <laughs> amount yeah um, it makes you wonder like do the animators know how aging works or is it just like because if it's a, no 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 she was a witch and she wanted to look like this woman that she thought was attractive mm -hmm. then I totally buy it but that falls into the same box of if you had explained this, it would have been fine. Yeah. Uh, but instead, we're considering youth to be this just complete transformation of how your body structure exists. Well, not quite complete because everything below the breasts is still exactly the same as when she's young. Her butt mm -hmm. was working hard, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just keeping it tight. <laughs> Towards the the last part of the movie, right mm -hmm. around the third act, it. Uh, <laughs> you know, because this movie is still in the <laughs> <Yeah>. structure. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the Mallards are like, oh my god, we got to infiltrate the Chinese duck ring. And um, the plan that they come up with is dress up like a geisha. 
<laughs> to gain the trust of the Chinese ducks and uh, get <laughs> get in the inner circle. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think it's the general dresses yeah, up as it's the him. geisha. It leads from the front and then <laughs> comes out and dances to too legit to quit. <laughs> And all the Chinese ducks are like, this is, this is pretty normal. This is what we hired. Uh, until, you know, of course it's exposed. Well, oh, well wait yeah. a minute. He breaks character. Yeah, this isn't the gay show we wanted. I will say, I was kind of impressed. We made it uh, like an hour. The movie's only like an hour and 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. We made it like an hour before there was one fart joke. And I really thought that that yeah. was going to be something they exploited often and early. <laughs> That's the theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... we got to give maturity points where it counts. Uh, yeah. Like, that was... Yeah. It was I mean, good restraint yeah. on their part. <laughs> then we finally get back to the scene from the beginning where the... where Longway and the general are captured. Mm -hmm. They've got to escape. Um, the witch throws the skinny henchman into this contraption, allegedly to power it. But then later it seems like that guy's not really doing anything. It's just no, like a little prison cell. He's just in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he survives being in this machine that is um, a death trap. Mm -hmm. He's never really in any danger, actually. It's no. just sort of like... He's just but there's an implication away. that yeah. she needs him in there. Yeah, like, it's implied oh, perfect, that like he's, he's a feeling... sacrifice. Yeah, and but in what way? Like, uh, to, yeah. to balance the machine? I don't know what purpose that was. Yeah, and then she pulls out her satellite dish and tries to control the sun. Yep, just, yeah, the um, dish. Mm -hmm. But then the ducks attack, and um, Longway gets in the middle of some laser beam from the sun, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then everything explodes. Yeah, it's sort of like Interstellar. Like, not everything's explained, but uh -huh. for the most part, you can buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I know about girls is from my tablet fan book. Oh, really? Never would have guessed. Ugh, I can't believe my dad locked me up. He drags me all over the world, then throws me in the slammer just because I didn't follow his every rule. So I guess, I don't know if we want to give this like a score, or if we just want to start compiling a list and just mm. see where like each one falls yeah. in terms of the so bad it's good quality. Right, sure, yeah. So I guess th this is the only entry so far, mm -hmm. but we've made a list. We've got a list here of several uh, other movies that we want yeah. to uh, tackle at some point. Mm -hmm. And then I, I can't wait to just roll through some of these. I mean, especially like Airplane versus Volcano. That's one that is, I just, I can't. <laughs> I should be able to be fine with waiting to see that one, but yeah. I, I don't know if I can wait. <laughs> I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Exploring the questions that yeah. title indicates. Yeah, I want to explore that mythology, get deep into the lore mm -hmm. of Airplane versus Volcano. Yeah, the expanded universe, <laughs> yeah. see what the fans think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we're ever formally going to answer it, but the question of how this got produced does linger in my mind, not even just for the story, because obviously we have questions there. But this was actually pretty, for the most part, uh, pretty well animated. I mean, there were some things yeah. that I questioned, but uh, but yeah, like this got kind of full budget. Yeah, like this. It wasn't like, you know, ten steps down from Pixar, but mm, it needs some work. Like this was pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were a lot of strange choices. Mm -hmm. uh, the I'm uh, the too legit to quit. Geisha dance, <laughs> the uh, who let the dogs out military arrival scene. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of uh, questions where you're like, who approved this? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't know that we'll ever really get the answer, mm. but it was a surprisingly enjoyable ride while it lasted. Yeah, kind of was. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I think both of us were not expecting to like Quackers as much as <laughs> no. We did. No, but god damn it, they had me laughing. What do you think? Have you seen Quackers? <laughs> you do you want to see it now? <laughs> do you have some suggestions of other films? Some really weird ones, some really bad ones on Netflix that you want us to check out? Yeah, just put us through. Yeah, let us know in the comments, and of course, subscribe. <laughs>